on the point after. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and ten from the 25. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Herbert. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he loses the football a second time. And the Ravens have got it. Boy, very surprising. Two lost fumbles for him. And we're still in the first quarter of play. And you want to make a quick trip to the doghouse? Maybe to the bench? Fumble twice in the first quarter as he just did. Now you just wonder, is he going to be thinking about every time he touches the ball from here on out? Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Three yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Because they had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. Now Jackson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Now, you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they had them on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. 20! Five. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown! So the Ravens continue to be the... now Jackson able to find a lot of empty space there picking up the first down at a 21 yard gain one quarter done and three more to play here in Super Bowl 57 and we are back biggest game of the year the Super Bowl and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown.
Jackson now on first and ten. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They're going to get 15 more on top of this. So they got some pressure, maybe hoping to get a safety, and they get roughing the passer. And gave up a pass completion as well. Nothing really went right on that play for them. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You've got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson, and hopefully you can hem him in. So more of the same here, CD. Not a touchdown. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. It'll be a 49-yard attempt from the left hash. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six. timeout by the offense it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter they go play action with Jackson take this one up to the 35-yard line. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Play action. It's Jackson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, when you've got a quarterback like this dead to rights, you got to make sure to wrap up. Instead, though, he breaks free, and off he goes. And, oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. On second and ten, Jackson rolling to his left. And they'll work this down inside the 30. These are running back numbers that he's accumulated right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark in rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson can really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And he 